Welcome sa course natin. So, pa ulit tayo. So, tungkol naman sa clock problems yung i-discuss natin dito. Yung isa-solve natin. So, first problem. At what time between 4pm and 5pm will the hands of the clock be coincident? Ibig sabihin, kung nasaan magtatagpo yung uh, hour hand tsaka yung minute hand. So, kung nakita natin, balikan natin. So, nagalaw yung minute hand. Nagalaw din ng... Uh, nagalaw din syempre yung hour hand. So, ito yung concepts na kailangan natin tandaan para dun sa clock problem. So, 5 movements is equal to 30 degrees. So, yung 5 movements na yun, pwedeng minutes or seconds. Tapos, yung isa pa, so ito, no, movement natin, 5 uh, minutes or 5 movements is equal to 30 degrees. Tapos kung makikita natin, nag-start tayo sa 12, and then lumipas yung 1 hour, ibig sabihin, nagkaroon tayo ng 60 movements para dun sa uh, minute hand, samantalang 5 movements lang dun sa hour hand. So therefore, so 5 movements for the hour hand is equal to dun sa 60 minutes or 60 movements para dun sa minute hand. So therefore, yung isang formula natin, yung relationship ng movement for the hour hand tsaka ng minute hand. So hour hand, movement ng hour hand is equal to movement ng minute hand divided by 12. So solve na natin. So at what time between 4pm and 5pm will the hands of the clock be coincident? So, titignan natin, no, kapag sinet nyo, tapos pag tugmain nyo lang or pag tagpuin natin yung hour hand tsaka yung minute hand, mga approximately 4.20 something. So, dahil nga, mat, ang sabi natin, kailangan exact yung sagot natin. So, ibalik natin, no, lagay natin yung original position niya para may solve natin ng mas madali. So, let X be the movement of the hour hand and then yung Y movement of the minute hand. Tapos yung Z, yun yung original distance between the R hand and the minute hand. So may kita natin dun sa figure na yung X plus Z, yung movement ng R hand plus yung original distance between the R and the minute hand equal dun sa movement ng minute hand which is denoted by Y. So pwede na natin tong isolve. So yung Z, alam natin na, na 20. 20 yung uh, distance between the hour hand and the minute hand. Dahil kung check natin mula dun sa 12 hanggang dun sa 4. So 5 movements per uh, per number, no 5 movements. So 5 times 4, so 20. And then yung uh, relationship natin, movement ng hour hand which is denoted by x equal dun sa movement ng minute hand denoted ng y divided by 12. So, substitute natin. So, y over 12 plus 20 is equal to y. Makakuha natin yung movement ng minute hand. So, subtract both sides ng y over 12. So, lagyan natin 20 over 1 minus 1 over 12. So, therefore, movement ng minute hand is 21.81. So, solve natin. Kunin natin yung seconds. No? Subtract natin 21 minutes. Tapos multiply natin sa 60, yung decimal. So therefore, 49.0909 seconds. So therefore, yung movement ng minute hand is 21 minutes and 49.09 seconds. So therefore, the time between 4pm and 5pm where the hands be coincident is uh, 4.21 and 49.09 seconds. So next problem. Find the angle between the hands of the clock at 3.43 p.m. So, pagalawin ulit natin yung uh, hour hand ay tsaka yung minute hand. So, kukunin natin. So, 3.43 to. Kukunin natin yung angle between the hour hand and the minute hand. So, lagay ulit natin yung original position galing sa 3 para madaling isolve. So, movement of the hour hand denoted by x. Movement of the minute hand denoted by y. And then yung Z, original distance between the R and the minute hand. Ah, sa pagsasolve na to, wala naman para sa akin. No? May mga formula kayong makikita sa iba't ibang references na 
uh, para doon ma-solve to ng mas mabilis. Uh, depende sa inyo na discretion nyo. Discretion nyo kung gagamitin nyo yung mga formula ngayon. Pero para sa akin, so basic concepts lang naman. No? Kaya naman natin itong isolve. Uh, kaysa dagdagan pa natin yung kakabi sa doing formula. So solve natin original distance between the R and minute hand. Yun yung Z. Tapos yung hahanapin natin, distance between the R hand and the minute hand. Tapos yung angle theta, yun yung angle between the hands of the clock at 3.43pm. Or yung uh, distance A which is denoted na nakaminute yung uh, unit natin doon. Tapos sabi rin kanina na 5 minutes is equal to 30 degrees. So therefore, convert natin yung a distance na nakaminute. So 30 degrees over 5 minutes. So based on sa figure, yung y, yung kulay green. So y is equal to z plus x plus a. Yung y, dahil alam natin na 3.43, ibig sabihin 43 minutes mula dun sa 12. So... So, 43 yung movement natin no, for the minute hand. And then yung Z. Z is 15 dahil gal- mula dun sa 12 plus 3. So, 3 o'clock. So, 15 yung um, movements or distance nila. And then yung X, relationship ng movement ng R hand sa minute hand. So, Y over 12. So, substitute lang natin. 43 yung Y. So, 43 is equal to 15 which is yung Z. And then plus y over 12, 43 over 12 plus a. So 43 minus 15 plus uh, minus 42 over uh, 12. So 24. Tapos kung nalit natin. So times 30 over 5 para makuha natin yung angle. So angle natin between the hands of the clock at 3.43 p.m. So a is equal to 24. So multiply sa 30 over 5. So 146.5 degrees. Next problem, at what time after 3 o'clock will uh, the R and the mid hands be 8 degrees with each other for the second time? So yung first, yan yung uh, first time kung saan 80 degrees yung uh, pagitan ng R hand tsaka ng minute hand or yung nagawa nilang angle. Ito naman yung pangalawa, yung second time in which 80 degrees yung nasa pagitan ng Uh, or hand tsaka ng minute hand. Siyempre yung small same. So solve natin. Lagi ulit natin yung original na possession nila from 3 o'clock. Let x be the movement of the or hand in degrees. So ito naman si solve natin in terms of degrees. Yung kanina, yung previous problem, sinolve natin in terms of minute, tapos convert na lang natin sa degrees. Ito naman, uh, solve natin in terms of degrees na. Y, movement of the minute hand in degrees. And then yung Z, original angle between the R and the minute hand in degrees. And then yung pagitan ng R hand tsaka ng minute hand yung 80 degrees. And then yung A, movement ng minute hand in minutes. Kasi hahanamay natin kung ano yung oras after uh, 3 o'clock. So A is equal to Y na naka-degrees dahil yun yung movement of the minute hand in degrees natin. So naka-degrees. Relation shift. So 5 minutes over 30 degrees. Kaya bahala kung ano yung gamitin yung factor. Pero ginamit natin dito yung 5 minutes tsaka yung 30 degrees kasi yun yung nilagay ko kanina. Tsaka mas madaling matandaan or intuitive kasi yung pagitan ng uh, numbers natin, 5 minutes. And then yung degrees nila or yung angle sa pagitan ng mga numbers ay 30 degrees. Kaya yun yung ginagamit ko. Pero kayong bahala kung gusto nyo, pwede 1 minute is equal to 6 degrees. Hindi nga lang intuitive. Pwede rin namang 15 minutes and then 90 degrees. Kaya yung bahala. Tulad lang din naman. Pero ito yung para sa akin, pinakasimple yung 5 minutes tsaka 30 degrees. Or pwede rin naman na kayo bahala. Basta kahit anong factor yung gamitin nyo, basta makapag-solve tayo ng tama. Kung saan kayo comfortable, yun yung gamitin nyo. So based on sa figure, ito yung uh, equation na mabubuo natin. Yung y is equal to 80, yung kulay yellow, plus x plus z. And then yung relationship ng x tsaka ng y. So x is equal to y over 12. And then yung z is 90 degrees dahil uh, 12 and then yung 3. So 3 o'clock, 90 degrees yung pagitan nun. 
So y is equal to 80 plus y over 12 plus 90. So 80 plus 90 yung 170 uh, times 12 over 11. So 185 tapos ako ni natin so 5 over 30 para makuha natin kung ilang minutes so 30 point times 0. Tapos kunin natin kung uh, ilang seconds. Subtract natin yung minute. Tapos multiply sa uh, 60. So 54.54 uh, seconds. So therefore, so y is equal to 185.45 degrees. So yun yung total movement ng minute hand. Tanggang uh, yung pagitan ng hour hand and minute hand is 80 degrees. Yung sa second time. So therefore, yung sagot natin. So, 30 minutes and 54.54 seconds. So, therefore, uh, 3.30 and 54.54 seconds will be the second time when the R and the minute hand is 80 degrees with each other.